Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, um, I'm just gonna be doing. What was that? No. Get away. No. <laughs> yep, guys, you guessed it. This came in the mail for me yesterday. I don't even know why I got this off Amazon for ten pound ninety seven. I don't even know why. But it's a pretty good plushie, after all. So this is, um, it's like my second review video, because I did my birthday review video of the things I got. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Balloon Boy. Uh, it says on the back label, it actually came out this year. It was made by Good Stuff, it says right, right there. You can't really see it. But yeah, let's review. So, I really like this plushie. With the nice big blue eyes. The the really nice propeller hat. And, um, yeah, that... Wait, what? What? What is this disgrace? What is this? Outlines? They didn't join this up? What? How? It's it's a good plush after all. Except for this. The cheeks. Jeez, good stuff. Why the hell aren't they red? They're supposed to be red, not orange. Orange? And also the nose. Why isn't that red? And what's that in the eyes? Jesus. Something. What is that? I don't know. Anyway. So yeah. This came yesterday. And I really like it. I love the buttons. So. Apart from all the bad textures. Not looking at anything in particular. It's a pretty good plush. Yeah. So let's go over it. So um, if you want to make them fly, you can just do that. Just hold on to the little string in the back. There's only one thing I wish this plush had. I wish I had a sign that said balloons. Then, like, a balloon in his hand. And then a balloon in his hand. That would have made it a very, a very good plush. So that's... So yeah, I went over the bad things. Let's go over the good things. That was not meant to happen. Let's go over the good things. The first good thing I like are the buttons. I really like these buttons. Button one, button two. Yeah. I, I, love, I love his design. Apart from the back part, that's the only good stuff. I love your plush, but the only problem is this. Why? Why would they do that? The propeller is good. I like it. I really like it. But there's, there's one thing. Why is that a darker kind of red and then the rest is all light red? What? It doesn't make sense. And also, where are his shoes? Does he wear blue shoes? I understand that they try to make it look like Funko's plushes. Kind of like the ones that sit up. Most of the time. Yeah, I, I, did, I understand they try to make them look like that. But where are his shoes? I mean, his feet are going to be sore if he doesn't have shoes. I mean, I love the plush. It's the it's one of the greatest plushes ever. But there's only but the only problems are the back, the weird blue smudges in the eye. I think you can see that right there, apart from the other eye, and the cheeks and the nose, and also this. Why? And he has no shoes. He has no shoes. 
Those are the problems with this plushie. Oh yeah, and I forgot about the top. Yeah, those are those are the absolute problem. Yeah. So here's a good plush, a very good plush actually. But most of good, I don't have any other good stuff plushes, but I've seen most of them on like Amazon, eBay, and in YouTube videos. No offense to good stuff, but they are a disgrace. Like, the foxy one. His eye patch is here, and then his eye is right in the middle. I've also seen these in, in claw machines. Not Balloon Boy, but like the FNAF 1 characters. Chica, Freddy, Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy. No Golden Freddy, though. I've never seen a Golden Freddy of these. Yeah. But the foxy one, oh my god. Have you ever seen it? I mean, let me compare the good stuff plushes to Funko plush. I mean, it looks good. Like the foxy, balloon boy, stand right next to each other. The only problem is, this is bigger. And that's smaller. Yeah. That's the only problem. And I have four Funko plushes. I have a Funtime Friday, but I'm not really sure if it's a real one. Because it looks sort of fake. And the label is all, like, faded. So, yeah, I'm going to say that that Funtime Friday Funko plush is sort of fake. But, yeah, the other ones I have are very good. I have Springtrap, Nightmare Friday, and this guy. And the other day I got one of those mystery bags. These little mini plushies with the clips. I got a spring drop one. I really like it, by the way. I really like this one. But anyway. Yeah. Like, the Foxy Good Stuff plush. It is worse than Funko's Ballora plush. Or, or their Ennard plush. I mean, come on. The Ennard plush didn't even really look like Ennard. And the Ballora plush was just... Wow! I don't, I don't really have them. I can't really show you them, but... They just look like a disgrace. And I don't know why. Hey, let me take Foxy away quickly. But yeah... Balloon Boy looks like one of their, of Good Stuff's best plushes ever. It just looks like that. I mean, I was going to get the Funko Balloon Boy plush. I realized it was £34. And I had a £10 Amazon card. Could not get that one. I really wanted it. So I had to get this one because it was the cheapest one I found on Amazon. I found that one on eBay. It was a, it was it was like twelve pounds something. I have no idea. I, I can't really remember. But still, good plush. And you might actually be wondering when my bending the machine theory is coming out. It is coming out on August fifth. August the fifth. I think I made a comment. I can't really remember. So, yeah. 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 That's really it for the video. I mean, I really like Funko's plushes. Good stuff plushes. Oh, good too. But, yeah. That was my Balloon Boy plush review. This little devil stares at yourself. Alright, guys, I'll see you later. Goodbye.